Hello guys, today I will show you how you can uh, replace the oil and oil filter from a Honda CBR 650R. This one is from building year 2019. Um, we use Motul oil 7100, 10W40 and a Hiflo filter, the HF204. I also use this wrench for uh, removing the oil filter and uh, here we have some settings from this booklet, the booklet that was but with, with the bike. Um, we can see over here, um, this is in French but I will translate it in English. Um, filter de l'huile, so this is the oil filter. Uh, we have to fasten it with a, to uh, with a torque setting of 26 newton meter and uh, drain bolt uh, with a torque of 30 newton meters. And here we can see how much oil is on the engine. Uh, if you change the oil filter also, you have 2.6 liters. And if you change the oil without the oil filter, it's only 2.3 liters you need to replace. So uh, we will first turn out this one so we can drain better, so we, it can take air from here to drain. Range, a size 12, and you have to uh, release that bolt there, this bolt here. That is already loose. Be sure, be sure if you replace the oil that the engine is hot. So uh, when the bike is cold, let it turn for three or five minutes and then wait for three minutes and then you can drain the oil or do a few miles or kilometers with the bike, 10 or 20, uh, and then the bike is heated up so the oil will drain better. I have made this from an old can. Uh, we will uh, do it like that. It's best also to wear gloves. So and now we will let the oil drain and see the gloves were needed so we will throw that away and we will take new ones. So the oil is still draining. I have laid a bolt over here. Normally you have to replace this part also. Not a bolt, but a washer. Um, it's like like a gasket, but uh, I always use it about three times and then I replace it. But Honda advises to replace it every time. So we will take this part to turn loose the oil filter. So this is the Hifla filter. The HF204, it fits very uh, many Honda models. Also my previous bike, a Honda CBR600 FA PC41 from building year 2011. It has the same filter like this one. And then you can see that this wraps like that. And then you can take uh, a wrench and put it in like here. Uh, and then uh, fasten it with the right torque settings. The gasket is already pre-oiled, 
but uh, I will do a little bit of oil on it uh, extra to be sure. Then we will use this wrench. Uh, and we will turn the oil filter that's located over there loose. Like that you can turn loose the oil filter. We will put the oil can underneath it. That's the old filter. It was a genuine. And when the uh, training will stop, we can uh, place the drain bolt back in. But we will clean the bolt first. Just clean the bolt. This part to level the oil, we will clean also. Be sure gasket is on on the original Honda oil filter we can see that it is a tightening torque of 24 to 30 Newton meters and now we have to torque it 26 Newton meters the oil filter this isn't a torque range because in this size I do not have one but uh, if you have a torque wrench uh, it is 26 newton meter for the oil filter like that I've seen, I've also uh, make a little bit oil on the fairings, so I will clean that also. Um, and then we can fill it with a new oil. like that and then we can uh, fill it with new oil so we know that we have to uh, put in 2.6 liters 2.3 if you didn't uh, replace the oil filter but uh, oil and oil filter is 2.6 liters so uh, you can see it over here this can is 4 liters so uh, we still have to have um, 1.4 liter. So like this, also almost like this in the bottle. Uh, and then the oil level will be good.
Now we have a level to here. But uh, if you start the engine, the oil will go also to the oil filter, so the level will drop. But we will uh, start the engine now, and then after a few minutes, we will uh, see how high the level is then. Eleven thousand three hundred and forty-nine kilometers on the Odo. So now we will let the, let the bike rest a while and after five minutes we will see how high the level is and then we can uh, see how much oil we have to do on the bike to be 80 or 90 percent to the highest level uh, of the bike. So if the bike uh, uses a little bit of oil um, it doesn't come underneath the lowest level so we can see it also over here this is the lowest level and this is the highest level so that is how you change the oil and oil filter in just about uh, 10 or 15 minutes from your Honda CBR 650R. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.